Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My channel is all about budgeting and we're going to go over the snowball, if you've ever heard of snowball effect, through Dave Ramsey. That's one of the things that I'm going to be talking about and what I plan on doing. Uh, I am budgeting. I have budgeted in the past. Um, I have gone away from my budget several times. So for 2023, I'm hoping to get back on budget and to get everything in track um, so that we can pay off some debt. Um, we've accumulated some debt. So my plan is to get everything in snowball and uh, decrease that debt as quickly and as efficiently as we can. So I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna go over um, a monthly budget of what I have planned to set up, and hopefully this will help someone. I will be using real numbers, so this may not affect you, but hopefully it can help as the process that I'm gonna be using, um, no matter what your income is, whether it's higher or lower, um, hopefully, you know, it'll build a foundation to at least help you come up with a plan of how you can get rid of your debt and try to budget and stick to it. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the snowball effect. So there's two different things or ways. There's several ways, I should say, but there's two different ways with Dave Ramsey. Um, you've probably heard of the avalanche effect, which means you list your debt based off of the highest interest rate. And that's how you pay it down based on the highest interest rate. With the snowball effect, you pay your debt down based on the balance. You start from the smallest balance to the lowest balance. I particularly like the snowball effect because one, if you have a small balance, it makes you feel like you're accomplishing something when you get that smaller balance paid off. Then you go to the next one. And as you're paying them off, again, it makes you feel like you're actually completing something and getting rid of your debt. So that's why I prefer the snowball effect. So that's where we're, we're gonna be doing today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I already have a plan of what I'm gonna do and um, how I'm going to do it, so I'm going to explain it to you as I write these down. Um, so this paper I have, it's an irregular income paper. I had it um, from years ago. I changed the date to 2023, as you can see here. But I figured this was a good way of showing the snowball effect. So I'm going to start with my first debt. And I have some Affirm accounts. Not sure if you have ever heard of a firm. So one thing I have to tell you, I have a problem. I need Amazon Anonymous, like bad. I'm not sure how many of you out there have Amazon, but I love Amazon, but Amazon has taken over my life. Sometimes there's deals on there that you really don't need stuff, but it's like such a good deal. It's like, yes, I can use that. I know I will use it somewhere eventually. So um, a firm comes from Amazon because you can get the stuff on Amazon. You can get a firm, which is basically like a loan, and you pay it off, and you choose the terms you want to pay it off. But if you buy like high cost items, that's one of the things that um, that you can use. So for a firm, I have four accounts. So the first one I'm just going to put here, a firm, and then the balance. So the balance of my lowest is $408. The minimum payment is $58. And I'm a rounder, I don't like to use cents, so I'm actually gonna be rounding these numbers um, up. So that's why you'll see just even numbers with no cents. My second affirm, so I'm gonna write affirm here again. And that balance is $414. 
the minimum payment is $69. And then I have another Affirm. And that balance is $559. And the minimum payment on that one is $280. The next one is a firm. And the balance on that one is $1,177. The monthly minimum payment is $118. Next is a credit card. And I'm going to put just the initials, which this is a capital one. And that balance is $1,266. It's 4% interest. And the minimum payment is $20. The next one is care credit. If you've ever heard of care credit, um, it's basically a credit card that you can use for pet care. That's when I originally got it. I have pets. So when I take them to their vet and they have like surgeries or high bills, I can use care credit. And if it's over a certain amount, you do not have to pay interest. Sorry. But the interest is $26.99. The balance on this one is $5,963. So let me tell you a little problem with care credit. It's not with care credit. It's great to have, again, especially if you have pets, um, medical bills. A lot of doctor's offices are starting to take care credit also. Um, the bad part is they turned it into a credit card. They came out with an option, whereas before you could only use it like for doctor bills, vet's office, things like that. They came out with an option and said, oh, you can turn this into a credit card. You can use it for whatever you want. What did I do? I agreed to it. So that's why we have, I messed that up, sorry. That's why there's a balance here. Um, my dog had had surgery and then my husband had had surgery. So we ran that bill up a little bit there. But again, certain balances, if you pay it off at a certain amount of time, then you don't have to pay interest. So, but if you do not pay it off or if you buy something that's not within that, that doesn't qualify, then you have to pay the interest of whatever that card is. And ours is 26.99% interest. Our minimum payment is $154. So, for the next one, um, I have a pool loan. And the balance on that is $9,571. The interest is 